Hello children I am Neetu Sharma and I teach English in Government High School Kamalpur District Sangrur Today we shall have a poetic session for the poem I am writing a letter written by Margaret G Rahots children what are the different ways in which we get messages there are so many different ways to receive messages like email sms whatsapp facebook and letters children Have you ever written a letter? If not, then please try. A letter is a written message that can be handwritten or printed on a paper. Before reciting the poem let's have a brief overview of the profile of the poet Margaret G Rhodes was born on June 26 1933 she died on August 21 2010 at 77 years old Dear children before reciting the poem let me tell you something about the poem in this poem a little girl is writing a letter and she is writing a letter to a person she cares most that is her mother She wants to write the letter very neat and clean which also makes her anxious. She uses blot paper to dry up the ink. She also leaves space for 10 kisses. And in the end she affixes stamp upon the envelope and drops her letter in the post box dear children let's discuss the pronunciation as well as the meanings of some difficult words present in the poem clearly in a clear manner begin start travels make a journey typical of some length move anxious feeling 
or showing worry nervousness or unease about something concerned blot spot dot envelope a flat paper container with a seal able flap wrapper dear children let's revise the new words one more time clearly begin travels anxious blot and will up dear children we are at the recitation session now i will read the poem for you listen to it carefully i am writing a letter to send by the post it is to the person i care for the most i write the date clearly and put the address and begin dearest mummy did anyone guess my pen travels slowly all down the sheet because i'm so anxious to keep it all neat i carefully blot it to dry up the ink such nice blotting paper the color is pink i turn the page over and on goes my pen till lastly come kisses they are just room for 10 the envelope is ready i put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone dear children hope you have enjoyed the poem as now you have heard the poem now speak the poem after me i am writing a letter to send by the post it is to the person i care for the most i write the date clearly and put the address and begin dearest mommy did anyone guess my pen travels slowly all down the sheet because i am so anxious to keep it all neat i carefully blot it to dry up the ink such nice blotting paper the color is pink 
I turn the page over and on goes my pen till lastly come kisses there's just room for 10 the envelope is ready i put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone Dear children now let's recite the poem together one more time but with proper intonations I am writing a letter to send by the post it is to the person I care for the most I write the date clearly and put the address and begin dearest mommy did anyone guess my pen travels slowly all down the sheet because I am so anxious to keep it all neat i carefully blot it to dry up the ink such nice blotting paper the color is pink i turn the page over and on goes my pen till lastly come kisses there's just room for 10 the envelope is ready i put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone dear children hope you have enjoyed and understood the poem now let's do one activity try to make sentences for the following words there are total 6 words first word is send second address third travel fourth anxious fifth blot sixth envelope children these words are very easy i have already told you the meaning of these words now try to make sentences first word is send the children wanted to send santa a letter second word is address please address all letters to this office third word is travel i want to travel to all parts of the globe anxious he is anxious for wealth next word is blot 
there is a blot of ink on the paper last word is envelope he pulled photos from the envelope as he spoke let's do one more activity in this you have to write synonyms now what are synonyms synonym means similar words there are total four words first word is anxious second begin third care and the fourth one is need children try to do it it is very easy you can do it yes okay let's do it first word was anxious and the synonym of this word is worried second word begin synonym of begin is start third word care and synonym of care is concern last word neat and synonym of neat is tidy dear children now let's try to write antonyms for the following words now the question arises what are antonyms antonyms are opposite words now the words are neat careful long anxious try to write antonyms for these words yes it is very easy okay let's discuss it for neat the opposite word is untidy careful careless long short anxious come dear children now let's discuss some question answers related to the poem first question is to whom is the child writing a letter yes it is very easy you can answer it okay the child is writing the letter to her mother very good now let's move to the second question why was the child so anxious yes try to give the answer the child was so anxious because she wanted to write the letter carefully and neatly third question what do you have to do to make the envelope ready the answer for this question is in the last lines of the poem yes you have guessed very rightly we have to write the address on the envelope and stick 
take the stamp to make it ready fourth question what is the meaning of there is just room for 10 yes think the poet left the space for 10 kisses for his mother children let's solve one comprehension stanza is the envelope is ready i put the stamp on and run to the post box and now it has gone related to this stanza the first question is from which poem are these lines taken who is the poetess yes very good these lines are taken from the poem i am writing a letter the poetess is margaret g rhodes very good now let's move to the second question where does the child put the stamp yes it is very easy the child puts the stamp on the envelope third question pick out the rhyming words from the above lines yes very good on gone dear children read the questions given below and try to write the option you consider the most appropriate first question is her pen is working slowly because options are she is thinking and writing the pen is not working properly She wants to keep it neat and clean. She is not interested in writing. Yes, the right option is option C. She wants to keep it neat and clean. Now let's move to the second question. How does the poetess begin her letter options are dearest mummy dearest daddy dearest sister dearest brother and the right option is very good option a dearest mummy third question She drops the letter into a options are post box wooden box river lake Yes very good the right option is option A again post box Dear children look at the underlined words in the following sentences First sentence is the dog works faithfully for his master 
how the dog works it works faithfully and faithfully is underlined in this sentence second sentence we cannot see clearly in the dark in second sentence clearly is underlined third the old man is walking slowly children how the old man is walking he is walking slowly in last sentence please do the work carefully how we have to do the work we have to do the work carefully dear children the underlined words tell us how the actions have been done such words are called adverbs i hope the concept is clear to you now let's try to find out adverbs from the poem read the poem carefully yes first word is clearly second slowly third carefully fourth lastly dear children all these words are adverbs dear children this is all for this session hope you have understood and enjoyed the poem but before winding up your homework for today is try to learn and recite the poem thank you see you soon